Hi, I'm Rissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today I have a great side dish for you. It's easy, it only has a few ingredients. It's some kicking green beans. Ooh, you're gonna like them. If you like spicy, this dish is for you. So I have rinsed and I've trimmed my green beans. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I got my wok. You can make this with or without a wok. You could use a skillet as well. I have sesame oil, which is delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and coat my wok with that. And then I'm gonna heat it up. I have my sesame oil heating up on about a medium to high temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic. It's about four to five cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna let that simmer for a few um, minutes. I'm gonna add in a little soy sauce for some flavoring. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon or as much as you like, if you like it real spicy, um, of this these chili paste. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my green beans. And if you're wondering how I came up with the name Kicking Green Beans, here it is. How's your workout going? Oh, it's good. Just hit my bag. How's your episode going? I'm struggling on what we should call the green bean episode. Well, I know it's going to be a big knockout. <laughs> I don't know. So why don't you strap on some gloves and uh, maybe you'll come up with a new name for it. All right. Sorry, in the bag? It just hit me. What? Well, we can name the episode. All right. Kicking green beans. Love it. <laughs> All right, so I just checked out my green beans and they are done. I just taste tested them and they're crispy yet not raw. That's how I like mine. But you can cook them to whatever temperature you like and the texture that you like yours at. But the sauce is a lot thicker. My garlic looks like it's kind of attaching onto the green bean. So they're perfectly crisp. And we're ready for it to eat. That's a wrap for the kicking garlic green beans. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can support this channel by hitting the subscribe button below and follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. See you next month.